Hi, I'm Richard and in today's tutorial we'll work on getting this chest imported into Unity. So let's get started. Good evening and welcome to another dungeon modeling tutorial and in today's tutorial we're going to export our now textured chest into Unity itself. Um, now, before I start, well, in fact, the whole uh, tutorial today is going to be about cleaning a few things up before we import them because I realize I've made a bit of a mistake. As lovely as this leather strap looks, there's going to be a problem when we open this chest up. And I might be able to show you if I just take off the top, you can see that <laughs> the straps themselves are in two pieces. They are, if I just if I get rid of the bottom, this these leather pieces here are going to rotate up as the chest rotates up. If it's not clear, I'll show you in a second when we go back into Blender, when I separate these things out. So I might have to do a little bit of work. So let's do that now. Uh, I will double check and make sure what I think I'm going to do. I'm actually going to uh, export these textures into a separate folder now. We've got them in, oh, that's interesting, desktop test. So let's move them to the, uh, to the uh, dungeon tutorial. And what I think I'll do is under models, I'll create a new uh, folder called should we call it chest or treasure chest let's call it chest for now and we'll say select that folder there uh, we know we, we've got our two things here I'm gonna go for 1024 by 1024 for now oh do you know what I'm not I'm gonna go for 2048 by 2048 for now uh, which is crazy crazy over the top like I mentioned there are ways that you, this unfortunately really should be flattened to one image but it's actually creating two separate images I know that algorithmic are working on uh, um, ways to flatten this out so that it uses the same texture space for all the files uh, but at the moment we're gonna have to create two separate files okay there we go tough luck so I'll just I'll just click on export for now and it's done well I, I paused it there <laughs> in case you thought it was running very very quickly I did pause it so there we will click OK all right so we can close this down now uh, and, and let's start playing around in uh, blender just to tidy these things up and separate them out so let's do that now Okay, so here we are back in Blender. So let's let's separate these two pieces out right now. So if we just tab back into edit mode, uh, we're in a good place already. Look, it looks as though we've got all of the pieces there. Let's just do Shift H just to see. Yeah, okay, so we did have that bottom bit selected as well. So let's do this. Let's just press Alt H and then A, and then Control Tab 3 and just press L. Oh, L. And yes, it's done just with that seam there. So if you click on Material, I think that'll select everything in the top piece, and we'll just go over here and just press L on these pieces as well and let's hide those normals as well shall we get on my nerves and press L there as well there we go okay so that bit there what we're going to do now is we're going to separate this off to its own uh, um, uh, element what's it called Check object if you like uh, so let's do that now so I just press P and separate selection and then this piece here again is its own piece there so we've got two different pieces now can you see that two different pieces so we'll call this bit here chest top and then we'll call this bit here chest bottom. Oh, uh, chest bottom. Chest bottom there. All right. Now the, this is where the problem is going to start. Now what I will show you is what I want to be able to do when we go in here is rotate this, and it's going to rotate on this axis here. And the way we're going to do that is we're going to grab this this uh, face here and grab that face there. So I'm just shift clicking that, and I'm going to press Shift S, cursor to selected. Now I'm going to go press Tab, and I'm going to do Alt. Control Shift C, the one of the worst shortcut keys in the world, and Origin to 3D cursor, and you can see that that's where it's put the origin now. So if I now rotate this on the, I'm going to say X is probably right. Rotate X, it opens it up. But can you? Do you know what? That's not actually the end of the world, is it? It looks a bit stupid, doesn't it? Those straps coming up, but it doesn't look terrible. Um, guys, I'm going to keep it for now. Um, just because what I was going to do was split these bits up and create like three objects. So basically just have these bottom bits of the strap sort of just hanging there when it opened up. But I'm actually kind of okay with how that looks. Um, yeah. All right, I made a mistake. I hold my hands up. Next time I do this, I will be sure not to use leather straps. I mean, there is, there is, there are ways around this. We could potentially animate this so that it it drops down as the chest rotates. But I think that's going to be out of scope for this tutorial. So we have these two pieces: chest bottom and chest top. So now we should just be able, again, just to click them both and then just do File, Export, FBX. 
and we're in the assets models folder so let's go to chest and we'll just call this we're going to call this chest for now chest.fbx and click export oh no 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 before we do that let's make sure we click selected objects and experimental apply transform and click export fbx all right and that should have put them into two separate objects and if i'm right i'll just quickly bring this across here and just bring up the uv image editor just to make sure and just press a yeah you can see that it's those pieces there for that and then just tab into there so it's using the same uh if you like they're not they're not overlapping each other's uh uh, UV space and that's because I haven't re-unwrapped them had I done that we might have a bit of an issue but I haven't done that uh, okay so that's good 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 I mean had I known I couldn't flatten the image in substance painter it probably would have paid just to make them um, uh, separate UV unwraps but there we go um, I'll, next time I'll know next time I'll know so good so I think we're done here actually I might even just save this file save as and I'm just going to go back into chest here and, and create one here called chest.blend because I've been messing around so much, I need to tidy things up a bit. Save as Blender file. There we go. So we've got chest.blend. Okay, we're done in um, Blender. So let's go into Unity. Okay, here we are in Unity. And I've had to create an archive folder, guys, because I've been messing around with the tutorials. I promise you, I do try. You may not believe this, but I do try and prepare for these and do a couple of runs so that at least I have some stab of what I'm talking about. So I've made a bit of a mess of this. So I'm gonna, I've moved a few things to archive. So be prepared for a sudden surprise when something's I've deleted or moved something that I shouldn't have done. I'm, I'm hoping that's not the case. That's why it's quite often good. Don't delete anything. Just move them to uh, an archive folder or whatever, and then just maybe uh, uh, you know delete them at a later stage when you're happy. So we've got this chest folder that we've just created. Um, this is de this stuff's definitely need tidying up, isn't it? We can see that we're starting to get a bit messy. But for now, I'm going to go into chest here, and I want the chest.fbx file, which is this fella here. And what I will do, I think. We've got everything we need there. It's actually correct. I want chest bottom and chest top there. So I'm just going to drag that in uh, like so and press F. And there you are, fella. OK, and now what we need to do, we need to create a couple of um, materials. And the first thing I've realized is that always with these things, they're going to be massive. Let's just have a quick look, see how big they are. One second. So if I just bring up Windows, one second, I'll bring up that sorry if I cut you off then just check on recording yeah sorry about that um, I made a bit of a, a, a pause there at the wrong time so but I will keep moving on keep moving on so these files here yes they're pretty big they're not actually as terrifyingly large as I thought they were going to be for 2048 by 2048 images uh, but I think that we can compress them using our good friend compress PNG so let's go there now let's bring up uh, Firefox, uh, Firefox, Google Chrome, Google Chrome is my browser of choice now. I used to love uh, Firefox, and I still kind of do. Uh, Internet Explorer is obviously the uh, <laughs> least favoured, uh, but st still, you know, still, still usable, I guess, if you like that sort of thing. Right, PNGs. I'm just looking for the PNG files. It's those ones. Of course, um, Unity has made these meta files, but I think I've got, I think I've captured all the Unity, all the PNG files. So let's just drag that in. Let's go to compress PNG over here. CompressPNG.com. I mean, there are, of course, utilities that will do this for you, uh, should you need them. But I, I find this to be fast enough that I can use it pretty well. So let's just drag those PNGs in now, like so. And it's going to take a few moments. So let's let that compress, and I'll pause this and come back when it's finished. Wow. So that did take a little while. Maybe I, I uh, maybe I, I should re rephrase my statement. It's very quick because it did take a little bit longer. I think maybe it's a busy server today. But here we go. Here are all the files. So what I'm going to think I'm going to do actually is I'm just going to control C this. And I'm going to go into um, Unity and just select all of the PNG files. Make sure I'm not selecting anything that isn't a PNG or a PNG meta. And just press delete. And I'm just going to grab these in here. Uh, control C and pop them in here. Control V. And before um, Unity can can do any nonsense, I'm just going to call. So it says chest three, chest bottom albedo. So chest bottom albedo, uh, chest bottom height, chest bottom metallic smoothness. Sorry about this smoothness and chest bottom normal and we'll do the same with the top ones oh so this is chest top albedo chest cheat chest top albedo ch 
chest top height. What's that called the other one? Yes, chest top metallic smoothness. See there, guys. Metallic is that you spell metallic smoothness? And chest top normal. Chest top normal. Yeah, you're right. Okay, so I've spelled metallic with one L. Hope that's right. No, it's two L's. Look, I can see it is. So let's just get let's get that right just for the sheer. You know, in case somebody picks you up and goes, oh, it's two L's. There we go. Two L's there. Okay, all right. Everyone happy? Good. Right, so now if I save that, yeah, that's good. Let's go back to Unity. Unity will do its wonderful magic. I consider this to be one of the great features of Unity. That it goes and it checks to see that things have changed and imports them and does anything that it needs to. I think that's brilliant. Uh, particularly when you're changing textures and, and um, Unity automatically recognizes them. Good, so we can bring this in now. Good, so let's start creating. Let's create a couple of uh, uh, materials. Materials, so we'll have chest top. And guess what? We're going to copy the chest top albedo into albedo, chest top metallic smoothness into metallic smoothness, chest top height. Sorry, I'll do this slightly the wrong way around, and then chest top normal and fix now, as always. And so, now if I go to chest here. I should be able to drag chest top in and pray that everything works. And it's looking a, it's looking like a good start, isn't it, people? Right, so let's do the chest bottom. So let's create a material. Chest bottom. And away we go again. Chest bottom albedo. It's a, it's a similar pipeline, isn't it? Now I'm doing it in a slightly different order, but there we go. It doesn't matter. So you, you, you get the idea. You've done this enough times now. Chest bottom normal. Fix now. I'd imagine that if you'd had a thousand assets, you'd probably go start going a bit mad. There we go. Okay, now things are looking a little bit darker than I intended on those bolts, that's for sure. Hmm, those bolts don't look anywhere near as uh, as silver as they did in the uh, in in uh, Substance Painter. But there we go. Okay, it's all right. It looks pretty good. I'm happy. Um, yeah, oh, maybe it's the um, maybe it's the light because you can see on this side it's much much better. Um, so is the size okay? Is, are we are we weird on the size? Let's tr let's just have a look. I know for a fact that twelve, uh, twelve is the starting place. There we go. In fact, if I now press play, oh, it's enormous. <laughs> now why are you so big? Or maybe it's just how, that's how big I had it in. Um, maybe that's how big I had it in. Uh, so let's pause that. How big I had it in, in Blender? Maybe it was. So let's just adjust the size of this. Shall I adjust it here or shall I adjust it? Yes, I'll adjust it here. So let's just start. Let's make it 0 0.5. 0 0.5. Now let's click on that again and let's have another look. Yeah, that looks a bit better. Half the size was what we were after. I probably should have checked that in. Uh, so you can clearly see that we need to adjust the position. So let's try moving it down, all right? Down to, let's try minus one. Press play again. Oh, I didn't. I didn't. Oh, look at that. This is the trouble when you play it. Okay, 0 0.54. No, 0 0.5. There we go. Just keep playing around. Where are your chest? Okay, there you are. Okay, you're a bit high, aren't you? You can see. Let's try 0.75. Minus, minus 1.5. Let's try that. It's going to be right in the ground now, isn't it? No, that's perfect. That's perfect as far as I'm concerned. But the minute you can walk into it, kabang. Okay, so let's sort that out. Uh, so it was minus 1.5, wasn't it? And let's add a component, a uh, collider. And if it's kind, let's just press F. Uh, F. It will do the collider in the right place. I can't even see it. So I'm guessing that hasn't worked. <laughs> um, so let's... It's in zero 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 size one 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 okay I think that's that's a bit silly isn't it so um let's just uh, I'm gonna add, I'm gonna add it to each bit let's add it to each bit I know that's a nuisance but so let's remove that do you know what I'm not even gonna add a, I'm gonna add a box collider to the bottom one that's what I'm gonna do I'm gonna just the box collider there add a box collider there we go that that'll be fine now in theory I can't walk into it oh it's gone massive again and it's but it has stopped me walking into it, so that's good. It hasn't gone massive, has it? It's just um, I thought I'd done that minus one point five. Let's run it again. Maybe I was playing. Maybe it was playing when now I'm on top of it. Okay, that's fine. But can I walk into it? 
No, I cannot. Good. And let's just close this down. Chest press F. And if we go to the chest top here, you can see that the origin point is exactly where we want it, where this little manipulator here is. And if I rotate this on the I think it's right on the x-axis here, yes, it's doing it. Guys, can you see that's doing what I'm expecting it to? Let's just spin it around here so you get a better view of it. Okay. Lovely, lovely. So we need to rotate that up and down. Those leather straps look a bit stupid, I know, but ho oh, oh well. In the next tutorial, we will uh, uh, add an animation that will do this for us, and we can then script this so that when we up, come up to a chest, perhaps it'll open for us. Um, oh, look at that rotation there. Where are you? There you are. It'll open for us as we approach it. Okay, and uh, that maybe that can be the idea of the game. Well, thank you for watching. Uh, apologies that that was. Uh, well, I think if you just do any of my other tutorials, you're probably used to me rambling on like a lunatic, so I don't think there's anything new for you. But thank you for watching. Um, please like and subscribe if you do like it. Um, I'm realising now that that metallic smoothness is not working properly, so I will work on why that would be uh, and see if I maybe, maybe I messed up the export. So let me take a look at that. And guys, I will look forward to seeing you next time. All the best now. Cheers. Bye-bye.